All right, with the LTS installed, um, before we jump into the 3D, I want to cover a um, couple of things. Uh, viewport setup, unit setup, and clip distance, and then jump into useful tools that we'll make sure are activated. But with regards to the file setup um, and layout, um, I prefer a layout like this. What it does, it gives me a, a big square model space around here, but then I can still very quickly see what's happening in uvs and images and shader view as well so go and set that up for you if that is a viewport that you think could work for you second thing is unit setup now buildings um, the best way to approach buildings is using modular content which means you'll start off creating quite small pieces two and a half meter square typically um, and then build them up or array them up to a bigger building so you can obviously start on using millimeters um, and then later when the building is finished you can switch it over to meters if that works better for you it is a personal preference thing so in scene properties on this side click units make sure that you select that metric because that's what this course will be in um, and then I'm going to switch this away from meters into millimeters. Um, that way I know that a door is 2000 millimeter high by 900 millimeter wide and it'll make dimensioning on a small scale easier. Last thing, clipping distance. Clipping distance is obviously the visible range of the camera um, and make sure that that is set to include everything in the scene. So if I hit N on my end panel, I get this fly out. I click view and then I normally go for 0 0.001 um, that is quite a close clip distance and that should include everything in the scene just as an example this is a building um, that I did for Light Architects um, City Builder 3D add-on it's from the Soviet pack Soviet Large 5 and you can see what viewport clipping is doing to the building over here it cuts off everything um, close to the screen so as an example if i set this to 0 0.001 as per the other file um, it now includes everything in the scene so go ahead make sure you've got your viewport layout unit setup and viewport clipping set stay tuned for the next video it should auto play also if you like this hit the like and subscribe button